In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install a new module within your .NET Nuke 7 website. Now, in order to install any extension, modules, skins, or other types of extensions such as providers, you need to be logged in with a host or a super user account. I'm currently logged into my .NET Nuke website with that host account, and I'm going to navigate into the host menu within the control panel, and I'm going to click on the extensions page. Now, the extensions page is where we manage extensions for .NET Nuke. A module is just another type of extension. Now, from the extensions page, we have a variety of options, but the quickest way to install a module that you have already downloaded from somewhere, such as the .NET Nuke Forge, is to go in and click on the Install Extension Wizard option. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that option. And from there, we get an interface where we can go and browse on our local computer for the downloaded module. I'm going to upload the latest version of the .NET Nuke form and list module, which I've downloaded previously. We'll go ahead and click on Next, and then we'll walk through a couple of screens here on the Install Extension Wizard. The first screen provides us with some basic package information about the module. We can go ahead and click on Next, and then we're provided with some of the release notes for the module. Next there will take us to the license screen, which allows us then to verify the license for that particular module. Now we do need to accept the license before we can proceed. Go ahead and check that box. We can go ahead and click Next. At this point, the module will be installed within our .NET Nuke website. Now there's a number of different steps that get executed during that installation depending on the module and in this module's case, there's actually a number of different SQL scripts that get executed. We were installing version 6.04 of the module. We can see that the SQL scripts actually start with version 3.1.0 and continue to execute any necessary scripts in order to install version 6.04. And if we go ahead and scroll down through the list here, we do just want to make sure that at the very bottom, it says installation successful. If we go ahead and click on return, that will take us back to the host extensions page. And it'll take a moment for the website to restart. We've just installed new DLLs libraries within the website. So it does cause the application to recycle. But once that application recycles and the website reloads, if we were to navigate down into the module section of the host extensions page, we would find that the form and list module is now listed. And at this point, we can go ahead and place that module on any page on our website and go through and configure the functionality or the content for that particular module. Now, if you'd like to upgrade a module, if you already have the form and list module installed and you have a new version available, you can use exactly the same steps that I followed to install it the first time. We would navigate to the install extension wizard and we would choose the upgrade package or the, the newer version of the module. .NET Nuke would then upgrade from version 6.04 to whatever that newer version happens to be. Now in other videos in the .NET Nuke video library, we talk to you about how you can use the extensions page to search for .NET Nuke extensions.